in honor of Kofi and Emlyn, two of the finest people I could ever hope to know. The happiest wedding wish I can make for you is that years and years on down the road, you'll be just as happy with each other, maybe even happier than you are today. So to Mr. and Mrs. Say. I would sometimes wonder about the man that Emlyn would one day marry and how he had the potential to change our dynamic. Would he be kind? Would he bring her and I closer? Or would he usurp my place in her life? It can be a frightening a prospect, the idea of your sister getting married. And there were definitely times in our lives when I was none too excited about it. And then Emlyn met you. You sounded really good on paper. She thinks you hung the moon, and it is very evident in the way that she talks about you, and she is not wrong. I remember the first day I met Emily. Kofi and Emily had been dating for a while. They went on a trip to Mexico, and I met them in their layover. They had a layover in Dallas. I went to pick them up from the airport. I went to this cute little wine bistro, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna get to know this girl. And we only, I had a very limited time. So she didn't know it, but it was damn near a job interview. I was like, <laughs> I was asking all the questions, like, hmm, so tell me more about your childhood, you know? That kind of thing. Before they left, Kofi pulled me aside and he told me, I'm gonna marry this girl. And I said, what? <laughs> he said, I'm gonna marry this girl. And I, and I understood, I understood based on what I had witnessed. You know, she was so kind, so down to earth, and such a perfect compliment to Kofi. Look at my little girl. I love you too. It's a good thing you take after your mom. <laughs> and you do. You look just beautiful. Just beautiful. I love you so much. I love you too. This and mom is does for too. you. Oh, thank you. Very happy for you guys and for us. You look just gorgeous. It's the start of a new adventure. Yeah. Right. Same book, different chapter. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. The first man I ever loved. And the next one says, the father of the bride. They're beautiful. I love you. Mm, love you too, sweetie. Mm, love you so much. I love this man, my brother, my friend, my partner. I've seen him grow into this fine, young, uh, upstanding man, and I'm so, so very proud of him. Now, we were living together. We spent a lot of time together. We fought, we laughed, cried, all that. And I was on the receiving end of those nunchucks quite often. And at first, he was really, really terrible at the nunchucks. Um, he hit himself in the head repeatedly. But over time, he got really, really adept and really, really smooth at those nunchucks. So much so, he could, he could make his way in one of those movies. And as I reflect on those times, I said, you know what? This guy's a little different. But anything he puts his mind to, he gives it his all, and he becomes incredibly proficient at that. Loving you is the most important thing I have ever done. From getting in trouble for staying up late, playing rock, paper, scissors in the bunk beds, to having you kick me and a projecta out of the car in the middle of Ocean View St. Patty's Day Parade, it has been a wild ride. 
And that is why I'm so excited to have a partner and teammate on that journey. However, despite the tone of my toast up to this point, I'm not actually the most important person in this story. Together, the two of you have found a beautiful balance. I knew Kofi was the one I would choose for Emelyn the first time we went to the beach, he went to the beach with us. I began to see glimpses of the little girl that I grew up with. She was laughing more and worrying less, both challenging herself more and taking herself less seriously. There was a rediscovered sense of joy about her. You make her happy. I love hanging out with the two of you. Your, fav your joy and love are contagious. I'm grateful to know you and honored to call you my family. Thank you for loving Emmeline so well. There's no more important job in the world. And I could tell that you cared for Emmeline through the way that you cared about the rest of us. As time went on, you made time to discuss career opportunities and retirement planning with me. Thank you. <laughs>
not an easy guy to know. And I thought that was a challenge. I'm like, I'm going to make him my friend. I did. I was like, I'm going to know him. And we got to know each other very well. And he's always been just an extraordinary colleague and a wonderful friend to me personally as well. So she is the first girl that's worthy of Kofi's love. I, needless to say, I was an early adopter of this relationship. <laughs> huge fan, huge fan, and thrilled a bit that you should meet such, a, such an extraordinarily lovely human with a wonderful family. A wise woman said a couple of words to me that I'm gonna sum up my speech with. And that woman was my wife. My wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous wife. She said, it's about damn time.